Word of Hope is brought to you by Fishgate Outreach Ministry. Today's message. Thank you once again for another day. I'm sharing with you something that I've entitled We Reap What We Sow. Wow. You know, I know most people will not like this topic, but I think as time goes on, we need to be sincere and face the reality of life. You know, things are the, the, the very fact we, we, we overlook and the very things that we need to be ready to face. There is no way you will go scot-free of the things you do. Everything we go through, everything we do, we are going to pay for it. But I think it is appropriate as day in and day out we go through life, we revisit our life and we recheck into these things well. Then we ask ourselves questions that what am I sowing, what am I sowing and what am I going to reap? The things that you are sowing today, you surely reap it. The things that you are thinking today, you are digging in, you are going to reap that thing. Whatever you throw up will surely come down. When we begin to know this thing about life, we then know that we need to live our life well. Because life will surely bounce back the things we give out. Maybe you are not aware, but I want you to know that maybe you'll be dead and gone, even at a time when you don't do it, you'll be dead and gone, but your children have to pay for it. And what would your children say? That our father, our grandfather, our grandmother, who was very irresponsible, who led his life in this way, but I wish somebody else today will ask himself that, listen, what am I sowing today? And what am I sowing that I have to reap for it tomorrow? Because the things that we are doing today will be the very things we are going to pay for it. It is going to be very difficult today to, to keep this word. But I pray that God will give us the grace to listen to it so that we can really learn from it today. You know, the Bible says that anything we sow, we will reap it. And it's true. I was. I remember the, the the one story about my life. What happened? You know, when I was a child, uh, one day I was going to farm with my mother. My mother was pregnant, and then I I I have to. I was a small boy, and then I was in front. I was in front, mommy. Was my back. The mommy will tell me, "Listen, ma, you stay." I want to be fast and go and get some things and so be fast and come. So I was following. Then this thing came into my mind. You know, when we, when you go to the villages, on in our path to our farms, there is this uh, small uh, 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 weeds on the way that we, we tie those weeds. We tie them together. We tie them together. So that with an idea that when somebody else comes to it, uh, uh, the person will fall. So we went to the bush very early. People were not in, in the bush, so all my ideas are, listen, let me tie the, 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 the ropes together. So when somebody get there, the person will fall. I was a small boy, but I was stubborn. Now I was at the back. Mommy has already taken the lead. I tied, set up my traps together. Then I went to the bush. This time, I have Mommy has given me uh, a small wood to carry. And he has carried uh, a lot of big uh, plantain and cassava and other thing in a basket you know but when we're coming i forget i've already set up a trap because my mind is that by this time somebody has already fallen into the trap so there wasn't any trap. mommy was taking the lead i was at the back we're coming we're coming we're coming mm. we go to the way the trap is ah mommy the trap got her fell down the plantain the things in the basket fell she started shouting, my stomach, my weight. I started shaking because I knew this thing, I have done it. How do I tell mommy that I was the one who would do it? As mommy was lying down and crying and we heard a man from nowhere, a man from the bush came around and said, ah, who could do this thing? Let me see. He man, the man checked the trap and they said, no, I am not sure. The only child we have here is your son. Ima, you have done this. So the man said, we know you are the one who did it. So the only option is your mother is now hurt. She can't carry the goods again. So you need to be you have to carry it yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, Afi, they carry all that goose, they lay it on my head. The plantain, 
the cassava, I have to carry it to the house. I can't even move, but I have no choice because we can't leave these things in the bush. We need to carry it home. I was just carrying a small uh, wood to the house, but now I need to carry all the other goods along with it. I was crying and I was carrying it home. Then I asked myself when I grew up that let's imagine I sold something that I need to repeat myself. Yes, the idea was that I was not the one who, who, was, who got trapped. I wasn't the one who got hurt, but indirectly, I was paying for the stupidity of mine. I was paying for the things I overlooked. I thought I was trapping somebody, but I was paying for it myself. I asked you a question. Today, ask yourself, you think you are smart. You think you are the most smart guy. You slept with that lady. You slept with that guy. Then later you went, oh, listen, I'm not really sure. You get reason to track him. Oh, listen, I'm not really sure we can go with the relationship. You've almost slept with thousands of women, almost the guys in your, the ladies in your community, you've done, we are done with them. You say, master, I'm smart. Uh, me, I'm very smart. You can't play. <laughs> yes, you are smart, but you pay for it. You will pay for it because that thing you are doing, you will not see the result today, but some years to come. Certain glory of your certain blessing of yours is going somewhere. You are a young lady, almost uh, you are using your mind. You know, maybe you are no more. I will suck you. Oh, listen, I, I, I remember the lady who took some guys to the to the to the beer bar. The guy said, How many bottles will you drink? They said, Oh, bring more, bring more. The lady would drink, drink, drink. They would tell the listen, I want to go to the bathroom and come. The lady would go and then put his hand in his throat and bring everything. Then go and drink more all again. Go back. Her idea was that he was playing the guy. But you're playing your own self. You've been playing or sleeping with this man. You choose to take the money, save somebody to listen. It was just after all, I don't know, uh, uh, the list I'm using, what is wrong with it? It has no change. It's is it the same size. What, what do I care? But I came to draw your attention to something. There is nothing you do on this earth that you go scot free. Young lady, young guy, you are awesome. You look beautiful. You look awesome. You look glorious. But I want you to know one thing today. That that thing you are sowing, that seed you are sowing, will seem to me that nothing will happen today. But tomorrow, you will pay for it. You will pay for it. I heard of a story of this guy who, a man who says, who went to um, preach in a particular school. And then there were these guys who came. They are saying, they said they are from your yeah, occult grand father, grandchildren or whatever, they came and they started telling the man of God, listen, we are we are the one in charge in this school, we need money. The man said, listen, I don't have money for you. He said, okay, then we are leaving. When they were about leaving, the man of God said, come on, let me say a word of prayer for you. When the man of God lay hands on, on, on the, uh, the head and begin to declare, all what he realized that something folded him up, or folded the man he was praying for. The thing was just moving from top to down like a snake. And all what he could realize, the man was not able to open the zip fast. So the thing just pushed, seared the, the, the trouser. And the man said to, the man of God said to his surprise, he could see a real snake. The head of a snake as the pennies, the head of the pennies of the man. So the man's pennies has a snake mouth. And the mouth will open. The teeth will come out. The, 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 the tongue will come out. And the man said he was shocked to the first time. So he used an oil to, 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 to sprinkle it and the, the thing disappeared. And he asked the guy, why? The guy said, yes, that is what I do. You know, I slept with women. And, and the man said, how many women have you slept with so far? He said, they are uncountable. Even only this month in the campus, they have smelled about, uh, about 30, 30 ladies. And outside, there are more. And I was asking myself a question. Maybe you think you are smart. You've slept with that guy and come on, I've spent my majority guy the hour. But what is he bringing? What, what, what exactly venue is that man injecting into you? Maybe some years to come when you are ready to get married. And that is why you go to pay. Some ladies have aborted 10, 20. They think they are smart. Maybe yours is one. You think you are smart. And he said, oh, come on, nobody knows. After all, there are more babies in my stomach. So what will happen? I came to speak to you, long lady. I came to speak to you. That anything you are doing today, you will pay for it. Why would you tell yourself today, listen, enough is enough. I need to work on myself and tell myself, I need to work today. I need to stop. 
And as you make this decision, God will help you. God bless you. And remember that when you speak to him, he will forgive you and he will come into your heart. He will not remember your sins again.